Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. This past week has honestly been so stressful and I do not know how to deal with that especially because I know the next week is going to feel the exact same way. I'm currently in my second to last week of school which means next week is my last week of school and right now I actually have four assignments left which really is not that bad but yesterday I wrote an entire 10 page paper in literally four hours which is so impressive, I'm so proud of myself, and that paper is actually due today at 5 p.m., so thankfully I got that done in time. But for the rest of my assignments, I have another final exam that usually takes me like two or three hours to complete. That is due tomorrow, so I have to get that done. And then I also have two more exams to complete, which I'm not worried about. But what I am worried about is I have another 10-page paper due in one week from today. And it is an English paper. I'm not too excited about what the topic is about, and there's also some some other stuff that I have to do within it too that just makes it like so much more complicated and I'm just so stressed out about school and also with school I'm so stressed out about my job because I was on such a grind of posting three videos every week and then I started to focus more on school and then I noticed that my work was falling behind so I've kind of noticed a pattern with myself that I prioritize one or the other and I'm just stressed no matter what because when one of them is down here then I'm just stressed out. I actually told myself that I was not going to focus on work at all this weekend, but I was kind of like, I owe y'all a video and I also owe myself a video. Like, this is my job and I can't just fall behind because I'm stressed out. So what I'm going to actually do is just take you guys along with me in a stressful day in my life. I'm going to try to get two of my exams done today and maybe I can start my paper. That would be so amazing. But right now, I'm actually going to go get lunch with Josie because I feel like I just need to do something that is like relaxing and makes me feel good and it is also Friday, like it is the weekend, I deserve to do something. And also, it is so important for me to get school done today because I'm not going to have any time tomorrow because tomorrow we are celebrating my dad's birthday, my brother is like coming into town, like I don't wanna be sitting up in my room like trying to do an exam like while my family's over and stuff like that, you know? So I really need to get all of this done today. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go pick up Josie, we're gonna go to lunch, and we are actually going to lunch at the place that Courtney works, so she might be able to like sit down with us and join us as well which is super fun and then Josie said she needs like new makeup and stuff like that so we might run some errands and I also need to get Courtney a birthday present because this weekend I'm celebrating my dad's birthday but next weekend I'll be celebrating Courtney's birthday so I need to just get myself prepared for that I need to get her a gift and another reason that I'm actually stressed is I have not bought a single Christmas present and it is December 8th and I'm just freaking out because I have to get a present for like my sibling gift exchange. I have to get my boyfriend. Oh my gosh, so many presents and stuff like that. So it's all just so stressful and I just really need a second to sit back. The month of December as you get older and older honestly starts to become less and less fun. I feel like December is the most stressful like month of my life. Like I have to finish school, take all my final exams, write my final papers, and at the same time like I'm trying to do work because like this is one of the most important months to do YouTube, you know? And then I have my dad's birthday, I have Courtney's birthday, I have Christmas, and then New Year's. Like it is so stressful, but we just need to take a step back and we need to just have a good day today so i hope you guys are ready to join me also quick fit check i literally keep like wearing this every time it is clean but it is like my matching knit set from airy it's just so comfortable and so convenient to literally just throw on because i am just so comfortable and it like looks so cute and coordinated at the same time so shout out to my airy outfit that i've literally worn a hundred times already <laughs> Why, you want to go to Ulta? Because I wanted to go to Ulta. Can we just stop by? Okay, so Carly saw I had these and she really wants some. But she can't decide which different vitamin one she wants. But this one's Hello Kitty. Maybe Courtney needs the Hello Kitty one. Yeah, I need and, uh, oh, but look, they have the bronze one. I think, I don't know, I think I want the caffeine cucumber, but like, what is that doing? I know, it sucks, because I got mine on clearance. I know, I know. I don't know, I don't want to get the same one as you, I want to be different. 
I don't remember which yeah, one I got. These ones. These ones say. I can't even. College, collagen and peptides. This, cool. this looks so pretty. I need brightening. Bright, yeah. Brightening. Oh, that's the one I got. You said that so <laughs> Now we are going to go to no, Ulta. Because I need concealer and um, the Rare Beauty bronzer. Is there any other makeup product I need? You need um, foundation. Almost everything. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I just got back home and I have a haul to share with you guys, which I'm really upset about because I spent $160 at Target and I didn't need to buy any of that, but it's okay. We're not going to freak out about it. We're just going to say that we treated ourselves for Christmas, I guess. I did end up buying one Christmas present for my boyfriend. I ordered it on Amazon. It was like $50, so... I spent like $200 today already and it's literally like 4 p.m. But when I was going to check out, I told myself that I wasn't even going to go through the cart and I wasn't even going to contemplate buying anything because I could honestly justify like every single thing that I bought. So let me just go ahead and show you. So definitely all the items in this bag are the most unnecessary things that I bought. I really did not need to buy any of them, but I just went ahead and did it. But the first thing that I got, which actually this just made me remember, I was going to buy a native deodorant too, but Josie told me she had the exact one at home and she hasn't used it at all and she would just give it to me, but I just left Josie's, so I forgot about that. But I also ended up getting the Candy Cane Native Body Wash because honestly, I've been like craving to like smell like peppermint and have like peppermint scented things. And I ended up getting like a bar of soap that was like peppermint and it's just not strong enough for me. So I just wanted to get like a really good body wash and I like scan every single product that I buy and this was literally like 76 out of 100 like it said it was really good so i'm really happy about this purchase and i've also heard from people that native body wash is really really good i have their deodorants i have like their lotion and stuff but i've never tried out the body wash so i'm excited about that and then i've really been in love with the color burgundy recently so i saw that they had loofahs these were literally like a dollar a piece so i'm not really upset oh just kidding, they're $3. I lied to myself. But still, they were pretty inexpensive and I just believe in buying like new loofahs like frequently. Um, my boyfriend and I both have one like in my shower and honestly like they just get like old and disgusting like after a while so I just decided to get some new ones and I'm super excited about these because they will look so good with another one of the things that I bought. And then I got these which you may have seen some footage that Josie was filming earlier about these. They're basically just like those under eye like silicone eye patches but there's like multiple in like one little like container which I just love because buying the individual like packets is just like so wasteful to me. So I just love that these have like a bunch of them in there, you know, and I love these and if anything, I really need to brighten my under eye circles so that can be justified too. Then I went ahead and got a full coverage foundation because I have not used foundation in like years and my skin recently has just been so like patchy and dry that sometimes when I'm wearing makeup, I don't like feel the cutest. So I feel like if I add something a little more full coverage, like my entire face, it would make me like feel a lot better. And then I went ahead and got an overnight lip scrub for obvious reasons. My lips are so crusty and then a Along with other lip stuff. These are both the same brand. They're the Jason Wu. I have a clear gloss from that brand and I find that it works really well. So I went ahead and got a lip liner too. I really hope this one works out for me. I like a very specific like lip color and some of the ones that I've recently got they're a little bit too pink for me. I like it to actually make my lips darker. Like I don't like the pink color. I like a very like natural nude but like still the color of lips. I hope that makes sense but yeah, so I went ahead and got this. Um, I'm really, really hoping that it looks good on me. And then Courtney inspired me to get this super big beauty blender. I honestly don't even know why I got it, but like just having a giant beauty blender like this seems so helpful, especially if I'm going to start like wearing foundation and stuff. Like I feel like it's just so helpful with blending and like just using this big thing, it'll blend everything at once. Like, I don't know, it's just amazing and it's also black, so it's just super cool. And then I got a new concealer because I've been using the same like brand of concealer I think it's like elf or something like that or maybelline i think it's maybelline for like the past like three years or so and just recently when i've been applying it it like doesn't blend and it's very like dry and like clumpy like i don't even know i just didn't like it so this one is like buttercream so i feel like it'll blend like a lot easier and it also has like a little sponge at the top that you can like blend it with so this is nice i'm gonna try this out and let you guys know 
how it is because concealer is everything to me. So that is it for all like my little things. And then I also got a new bathroom rug, which my mom is going to be so mad at me because we just went to Target two days ago and I was looking at the white bathroom rugs and she was telling me like, don't get a white bathroom rug. That's such a dumb idea. Like it's gonna get dirty, blah, 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 blah. But I literally looked at this, picked it up and put it in the car. I didn't even look at other options. Like I just knew it was the one, especially because it is so big. Like I love this. The current rug in my bathroom is like that big like it's so small it's so old I've literally had it for like two or three years at this point and it's just not a vibe anymore it's just getting crusty and like matted like I don't know I just don't like it and I asked for towels for Christmas and I'm trying to like follow this like white theme kind of in my bathroom so I feel like this would really just like pull everything all together I'm so excited about that and it's so soft as well then the last thing that I got is the shower caddy which I've honestly needed one of these for so long, but I've been trying to avoid it because I just honestly don't love the way that they look in showers, but the way that my shower is designed is just not good. And honestly, that's our fault because we literally built this house. Like we could have designed it better, but there are only two sections for like me to organize stuff. There's like a big square where like you can fit your shampoos and stuff like that. And then there's like a smaller square on the bottom. And just for all the products that like I want in my bathroom, they don't fit there and if I try to shove it all there then I can't get to another thing and it just makes it so messy so I have needed a shower caddy for so long but I just I really didn't want to cave in and get one because I don't know I just I just didn't want it but here we are with our new shower caddy and here's the part that I was excited about is to have these two loofahs like on the bottom like this like it's gonna look so cute and the way that I'm going to organize it and everything is just going to be perfect. So I'm actually excited about this, even though I did not want to get a shower caddy, but here we are today. So now what we are going to do is we're going to go into my bathroom because I actually cleaned my entire bathroom yesterday. And within just the past 24 hours, it has gotten dirty again. And I'm so tired of the upstairs getting dirty. So we are going to make sure that it all gets clean today. We're going to redesign my whole bathroom. And if I redesign it, I'm going to be a lot more cautious about getting it dirty because I'm going to want my new nice looking bathroom to stay clean so let's go on ahead and go to my bathroom all right y'all so I cleaned my bathroom yesterday and this is literally the condition that it's in I actually ended up switching my shower curtain yesterday I got a brand new one which I'm super happy about so I just have the old one kind of laying on the ground right now that's not very productive so we're gonna clean that up but let's go ahead and set all of this up run into a problem my shower head literally like might touch it and I mean like I could put it up like that but like even then it's kind of just still like you know in the way a little bit I'm gonna see what I can do but I'm kind of really upset about this I angled it to be literally perfect but I still don't know if I like it hopefully once I put stuff on it it'll look a little bit better because right now it is not looking so good but I really really need this in my bathroom so I might have to suck it up it has been a few hours since I last talked to you guys a lot actually ended up happening my boyfriend got home and he brought a friend so then I was talking to them and then Josie ended up coming over and then her boyfriend came over too and then my mom came upstairs and she was basically like talking to everyone for 30 minutes and then everybody left so after everybody left, I got back to what I was doing and I just got finished cleaning my entire bathroom. I actually reorganized this entire organizer right here because the top always looked so ugly. So I tried to make it look a little bit cuter to be in my bathroom. And then I kind of just wiped down my counters as well. I also used like a magic eraser and some spray to clean all of my cabinets too, but here is the rug in my bathroom. It is so much bigger than the old one and it looks so much better. It's so soft too. I'm just praying that it does not get dirty. And then here is the finished product of my shower caddy. It is looking so good. The only concern that I have is these suction cups are not working. And my boyfriend said it's because my walls are textured and suction things only like suction to flat surfaces. So I don't know if that is exactly true, but if you guys have any like tips or advice on how I could get this to stay because... It just like moves too much and it bothers me. So let me know if you have any suggestions. But I went ahead and put my loofahs on display and then I also put my razor here. I have some more soaps and then up here I have my new body wash. And then I also switched out the cup that I used for this. Originally it was just like a plain plastic cup but I got like a little mason jar to put like my toothbrushes in and other stuff. 
And then up here, I just have some like scrubs and extra stuff. And then now looking over here, this was like the little design in my bathroom that I was describing. I just never have enough room to organize all my stuff. So in here now, I have my shampoo, my conditioner, my shaving cream, another body wash, some more scrubs, and just some other stuff. I'm absolutely so exhausted after doing this, but I cannot stop here. I think what I'm gonna do next is pick up my room. My room is honestly not as dirty as like my bathroom was. My bathroom was so bad. But I'm gonna pick up my room, then I'm gonna try to vacuum everything, then I'm gonna try to take a whole everything shower and use my new products and stuff. I always get so excited to do that. And then I have two exams to take tonight, and those are the two exams that, that I described to you guys this morning. One of them literally takes me like two to three hours, and the other one should only take me like 45 minutes. So I'm gonna try to get both of those done while my boyfriend is out doing things with his friends. And once he gets home, then I can sit back and relax. So let's go clean my room now. Okay, she's looking somewhat clean. This is the best that I could honestly do right now. I'm just so exhausted, but I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and take my short exam right now. Y'all, I am done for the night. Um, I kind of decided that everything that I was doing was immediately over when I finished my first exam. And I just did not get the grade that like I wanted to get. I feel like to a lot of people, they would be like, that grade is completely fine. I don't even really know like what the percentage is, but I got like seven wrong, which is just not a lot to get wrong on an exam. But it was just enough wrong to like make me upset, you know? But thankfully there is another attempt allowed, which I'm so grateful for and I'm probably going to end up using that tomorrow. I also shared the questions that I got wrong, but it did not have like the answers with it. So I had to like rethink in my mind what answer I put down and I quickly wrote that down so I could remember that for when I retake it tomorrow. So when I retake it tomorrow, I'm most definitely going to get 100% because I know exactly what questions I got wrong and obviously I'm just going to correct that. But the unfortunate news is it's an average of both of the attempts. So even if I get 100 on the next one, it still averages out with the one previously. But I did the math and it will still be like a 94% or something like that with the two averaged out. So I'm thankful for that. And then I also went into like a calculate your grade thing online and I'm going to get an A for the class, which I'm so excited about. I got all A's this entire semester. God bless. But I am going to go to sleep now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.